Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Aura Dewi Bultom Aka. My student registration number is A1M219104. This time, I will explain the material about nouns, specifically common and proper nouns. But before explaining about common and proper nouns, I'm going to explain the definitions about nouns itself. And also, I'm going to show you the types of nouns so we can more easily understand about nouns. So what is nouns? Noun is a word that refers to place, thing, animal, a quality, an idea, or an action. Thing, it can be table, book, pencil, or any other thing. Person, person, it can be Aura, it can be Tia, or any other person. Animal, animal, it can be cat, it can be bunny, it can be birds, and any other animals. Quality, it can be kindness, softness or any other quality. Ideas. Ideas, it can be love, head, like, or any other ideas. Action, it can be belief, inspection, or arrival, and any other actions. And that's the definition about nouns. I will continue to show you the different types of nouns. So, there are five types of nouns which will be explaining by me and my other friends in this video. There are common and proper nouns, concrete and abstract nouns, collective nouns, countable and uncountable nouns, and compound nouns. After understanding the definition about nouns, different kinds of nouns, I will explain my material about common and proper nouns. Commons and proper nouns. First, the definition of Common nouns. Common nouns. Common nouns are the names of a place or thing which is general and not specific. For example, mother, tiger, and city. Why we identify them as a common nouns? Because as you can see, that mother is not specific. Which mother? Whose mother we're talking about? There's no specific names for city. Which city we're talking about is Kendari or any other city. So, as you can see, it can be any mother, it can be any city, it can be any table. And of course, it's not specific. Proper nouns. Proper nouns is a specific name for place or things. So, it's not general, it's specific, unlike the common nouns. For example, Jakarta. Indonesia and Jupiter Why all of this example I mentioned is proper noun Jakarta is specific names for a city Indonesia is specific names for a country and Jupiter is specific names for a planet So we identify them as a proper noun To make it easier, I will show you the table which the table is show the differences between common and proper noun as you can see, there are words main, mountain, ocean, state, country, building, cat, and website as a common noun. On the right table, there are proper nouns. So you have to remember the characteristic of common and proper nouns. Man is common nouns, where the proper nouns of man is, for example, Victor Hugo or Walt Disney. Victor Hugo and Walt Disney is a proper nouns for a main. Mountain is a common noun and a specific mountain which is Ismon Kalimanjaro is a proper noun because it's specific names for a mountain. State. State as a common noun. So Minnesota and California is a proper noun where is the specific names for a state and it's also same for the rest of the example in the table. So, after we know the example words of common and proper nouns, of course, we have to exercise to identify 
common noun and proper noun in a sentences. First is, the boy were flying kites on the beach. Can you identify the nouns here? Yes, it's a boys, kites, and a beach. But as you can see, all of them is not specific. Which boys we're talking about? Which bitch they're talking about? And what kinds of kites they're talking about? All of this word is not capitalized, so we identify them as a common nouns. Rada, Baba Bicycle, for her brother. Okay, so let's analyze. First, Rada. Rada is a noun. Where Rada is capitalized, Rada is specific names for a person. So, of course, Rada is a proper noun. Bicycle. Bicycle is a noun, but bicycle is not specific. What kinds of bicycle that Rada above? So, bicycle is a common noun. And also, bicycle is not capitalized. So, of course, it's common noun. And then brother. We identify brother as a common noun, same as bicycle. Because, as you can see, nouns brother is not capitalized and is not specific. India is the seventh largest country in the world. India is a specific name for a country. India is capitalized and of course is a proper noun. Country and the world is common nouns because it's not specific. And then Jane, my sister, want to be a singer. Jane is the specific name for a person. Of course, is a proper noun. Sister, sister and singer is a common noun. Why? Because it's not specific. And also, word sister and singer is not capitalized, so of course it's common nouns. What kinds of singer that Jane's sister wants to be? It's not specific. Maybe it can be a pop singer, jazz singer, or any other kinds of singer. It's not specific, so it's common nouns. So that's all my explanation about nouns, specifically common and proper nouns. Thanks. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Juliana Tessa Putri. I'm from Group 1. And today I will explain about concrete and abstract noun. But before I explain about concrete and abstract noun, I will tell you what is noun? A noun is a word used to revert people, place, animal, things, ideas, states, sentence, events, or feelings. So this is noun. Okay, let's start with concrete nouns. Concrete nouns are people, place, or things including animals that you can see, that you can taste, that you can smell, or hear, or touch. So, you can basically use your five senses. Okay, let me give you a few examples. Okay, um, if we talk about people, you could say a man, teacher, or me, Tia. This is a concrete noun. Why? Because um, teacher, uh, or me, Tia, or man, Kita bisa melihatnya, bisa melihat wujudnya, dan kita bisa menggunakan uh, panca indera kita. Jadi, uh, ini disebut dengan concrete nouns. And if we talk about place, we could say school, campus, house, or we could say name of city like London. This is a concrete noun. And if we talk about things, you could say a marker, a pen, or a rule. Uh, this is a concrete noun. We can use five senses. Okay, uh, di sini saya mempunyai beberapa contoh kalimat di mana di dalam kalimat ini terdapat uh, concrete nouns. Dan kita bersama-sama untuk menemukan yang mana dimaksud dalam kalimat ini concrete nouns. Okay, the first one is the book is about cars. Where is the concrete nouns in the sentence? Okay, that's right. 
uh, the concrete nouns in the sentence is book and cars. Why this is concrete nouns? Karena buku dan mobil kita bisa melihat bagaimana bentuk buku tersebut dan juga bagaimana bentuk mobil itu. Kita bisa dapat melihat bentuk nyata dari benda tersebut. Jadi ini dinamakan dengan concrete nouns. Oke, okay, and the second one is Indri has nice mobile. Um, in this sentence, mobile is concrete noun. Uh, it's the same I say before. You can use five senses. Mobile have a form and you can see and you can touch them. And the last is he goes to school. In this sentence, school is concrete nouns because uh, school kita bisa melihat bagaimana bentuk dari sekolah itu kita bisa melihatnya dengan mata kita dan melihatnya secara nyata oke okay, now let's move to the abstract noun abstract noun unlike concrete nouns um, are idea emotion feelings or concepts and you cannot see an idea you cannot touch an emotion or you cannot see You cannot see concepts, so you cannot you cannot use your five senses in abstract noun. Di abstract noun kita tidak bisa menggunakan panca indera kita, tetapi kita hanya bisa merasakan uh, dari hal yang seperti kayak kita cuma bisa merasakan ide itu bagaimana atau kayak emosi itu bagaimana. Jadi itu dinamakan dengan abstract noun. Uh, di sini saya juga mempunyai beberapa contoh kalimat yang di kalimatnya itu terdapat abstract noun. Yang pertama itu, Alif has a problem. Where is the abstract noun in the sentence? In this sentence, the abstract noun is problem. Uh, saya katakan problem di sini abstract noun karena uh, problem itu kita tidak bisa melihat bagaimana bentuk nyatanya atau kita tidak bisa menyentuh dari masalah tersebut. Kita hanya bisa merasakan dari permasalahan tersebut tanpa melihat bentuknya. Jadi problem adalah abstract noun. Yang kedua yaitu the girl is very intelligent boy. Intelligent is the abstract noun. And the last is they laughed at my idea. I think you know where is the abstract noun in the sentence. The abstract noun in the sentence is idea. I say before abstract nouns uh, are emotion, idea or feelings. So idea is the abstract noun. Oke, okay, sekarang saya akan memberikan beberapa contoh kalimat di mana di dalam kalimat ini terdapat concrete dan abstract noun. Oke, okay, let's start. The first is Okay, the first is health is more than more important than money. Um, where is the abstract noun in this sentence? Okay, in this sentence, health is the abstract noun. Health is abstract noun. Why? Karena uh, kesehatan kita tidak bisa melihat bagaimana bentuk kesehatan itu. Kita cuma bisa merasakan bagaimana rasanya menjadi sehat. Jadi saya katakan health itu sebagai abstract noun And the concrete noun is money And the second one is okay. Contoh yang kedua yaitu Tika is very emotional person Tika in the sentence is concrete noun. Tika is concrete noun karena Tika merupakan orang. Seperti yang saya jelaskan sebelumnya, concrete nouns are people, animals, uh, or things. And the abstract noun in the sentence is emotional. Emotional sebagai abstract noun karena sama seperti yang saya bilang sebelumnya. Emotional kita hanya cuma bisa merasakannya. Um, I think enough for my explanation about concrete and abstract noun. Um, I'm sorry for the mistake. 
Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Usliani. I will explain to you all about the collective noun. Okay, we just go in. Collective noun is a noun that gathers or join a group. Therefore, in this group consists of more than one member. Well, collective noun consists of three groups. The first group is group of people, group of animal, and group of Kings. For group of people that are often used is audience, class, team, or family. For the usual group of animals, use the word hair, flock, and so on. And then, and in this group of things, only aims at abstract object, and the word is stock. Company and bunch. You need to know that collective noun has two properties singular and plural. Singular and plural. Singular is a member of a group carrying out activities or actions simultaneously at the same time. While plural is a member of a group carrying out activities or action individual, so not all members in a place form actions. So, how do you spread if you find example of sentence using collective nouns? You can identify with the verb use. Okay, I will give an example sentence. This class is reading every book. And for example, the sentence collective noun is plural, that is This class are reading English book To identify the difference between the two sentences can be seen from the verb used. Verb is reading. Then the second is are reading. So the first one means that this class is doing an action or reading an English book. Well, the plural is meaning a member of this class is reading an uh, English book, but there are only a few students reading the book. Here, also you can see that there is a high word that is if singular will use the word this and plural use this word. Okay? That's 
the material from the collective noun that both can be understand understand so much from me. Thank you and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Sadma Dinatul Mulisa from Group 1 will be explained about compound nouns. Before that, I have one one example about compound noun. We bought a tennis shoe. We as object bought as verb, tennis as noun, and shoe as noun. Maybe there may be confu confused why there are two nouns okay i will explain tennis shoe is a cluster of an of noun consisting of two words tennis and shoes so tennis shoe is so tennis shoe are called one noun in in the example we can conclude that compound noun is a noun that is made with two or more words. Okay, next. Three form of, of compound noun. Next, three form of compound noun. First, open or space. Second, hyphenate. And Third, close or solid. The example of open or space is tennis shoe. Open or space use use space between the word. Hyphenate use hyphen between the word. And close or solid, no, not use space or hyphenate between the word. Combination of combination of compound noun plus noun, adjective plus noun, verb or verb in plus noun, noun plus verb, verb plus prepositional, noun plus prepositional phrase, preposition plus noun, and noun plus adjective. The example of noun plus noun is bus stop foot, and football. Adjective plus noun is full moon. Verb or verb in plus noun washing machine noun plus verb is higher cut verb of verb plus prepositional is check out noun plus prepositional phrase is mother in law preposition plus noun is under word and noun plus adjective is truffle singular noun is marked with perfect a or n and the plural noun is marked with a perfect the number except number one and the letter s is eight to the end of the word in example singular noun is 8a and plural noun 8s i think enough thank you very much